petri dish used for experiments inside the dish is a dead centipede. A few days have passed since the incident at the clock tower. A hospital is surprisingly empty for midday. I give the expression, but the place is basically dead. From the other side of the hallway, a familiar looking man is approaching me. Next to him is a small girl. Hello, Mr. DG. Are you also here to visit Diamond Ita? Yeah, pretty much. She asked me to come with her. Good afternoon. This girl is Suzu, Suzu Morimiya. Though she's but a grade schooler, she's also one of the mark bearers. After our previous case, she's come to idolize Aita and treat him like her older brother. Oh, I forgot that. Aita, why are you taking Suzu here on a weekday afternoon? She's not skipping school, alright? Today is her school's anniversary. Um, I heard the situation from Aita. Mr. Diamond's still asleep because of his spirit's curse, isn't he? Most likely. In a way. Her eyes are filled with deep sorrow. Don't you worry, Suzu. Mr. DG and I will definitely save Mr. Diamond, alright? Aita proudly taps his chest while making that claim. I have no idea where that confidence comes from. Despite my skepticism, the display brings a smile back to Suzu's face. Aita, Mr. Can I trust you two? Of course. Only guarantee in life is death, kid. Thank you, mister. Anyway, Mr. DG, I'll continue to back you up in your investigation. Aita, about that. Oops, let's save that for later. I've got to get Suzu back home. I'll go to Ku I'll go to Kujo Mansion after that. Call me if you need anything. See you later, mister. Aita and Suzu leave after that. Crap, that was my chance to tell him. Following Slipmouth Kashima's case, I told Moe and Shu to stay out of the investigation. But Aita wasn't around, so I haven't told him yet. I finished my visit with Diamond and leave the hospital. He's still comatose, showing no sign of leaving Limbo and rejoining the ranks of the conscious. The doctors have yet to identify the root cause of his coma. If it's truly the, the Departed's curse that's behind his condition, he won't pull out of this for so long as the Departed still exists. Hmm. I drive my car to Kodahara Academy. A new notice hasn't been discovered yet, but Mr. Kanoe asked me to teach a class this afternoon. I enter the classroom and take my place in front of the students. Then I proceed with the class like usual. When Kanoe first asked me to teach as part of my investigation, I thought it would be an ab absolute disaster, but surprisingly, I'm doing just fine. On the other hand, the students seem to be doing markedly less fine. The number of fidgeting students that can't focus on class is too large to ignore. Considering some of them also asked me about my investigation, it's obvious what's on their minds. The Departed isn't just a fringe rumour anymore. These students have gone from being amused to being terrified. The human heart is a fragile thing. Seeing these kids with their flagging spirits, I know I need to hurry up and close this case. In what feels like a blink of an eye, class is over. The first time I taught, it felt like time stood still. It's kind of troubling to realise I've now been at it long enough that I'm used to it. After school, I start my investigation solo. I think back to my conversation with Doryu and Mishio the other day. The Departed might be someone close to me. In order to narrow it down, I make the rounds asking teachers and students alike about the people involved in the incident. However, my efforts are fruitless, and all I get is a lot of small talk and wasted effort. I attempt to take a different angle to figure out the Departed's true identity and think it over. The Departed is good at hiding. Let's say they're able to take the place of someone else. And when they do, they can perfectly duplicate that person's looks, memories and personality. It'd be the perfect disguise. Nobody could see through that. With that level of deception, the only real chance to know their true identity would probably be once they've achieved their goal. Which will likely be when they exchange vows with their dear, their dear husband. And for me, that would be either be death or a fate worse than that. So I have to find that answer before then. I glance up at the, and notice it's already dark out. It's time for the students to leave school. 
I'm not getting anywhere by blindly hunting for clues. So I'd better go to the infirmary and put together a real plan of action. Find a woman in the white coat waiting inside the infirmary. Oh, it's the, um... The, uh, the school nurse, right? For a moment, I think she's a school nurse. Ah, oh, but then I see her face. It's not the school nurse. It's our old friend. Mama. Hello, DG. I never would have imagined you'd be a teacher here. I was really shocked when I heard the news from Diamond. Yuru, why are you here? To help you out with the investigation. What else would I be doing here? I never would have imagined I'd hear the word help come out of Hiro's mouth. There's got to be a reason. Ask about Hiro. Ask why she's here. He's Madoka Hiro. She wears a white coat, but not because she's a doctor. Hiro is a mark bearer who works at a pharma company as a researcher. If I remember correctly, you don't handle paranormal phenomena all that well. Uh, uh, well, true. I mean, after all the suffering I was put through before, how could I have expected to like it? So why are you here then? Jeez, you're so annoying. I have my own reasons, alright? She's rather intelligent, but Hiro has also quite the cowardly streak. However, there are times when her curiosity gets the better of her and she ends up poking her nose in bizarre, into bizarre incidents. Call it a test of courage, I suppose. To tell you the truth, I'm here because Diamond asked. In the event that something were to happen to him, he asked me that I'd come help you in his stead. Hence I'm here, using up my paid leave. I appreciate you talking, taking your obligation to Diamond seriously, but... This case is extremely dangerous. There have been a lot of casualties already. Oh, come now. Don't patronize me. I'm fully aware of the dangers present. Then why are you? Because I want to save Diamond. Simple as that. They're my friends, too. Not just yours. Diamond praised me of the situation. A spirit known as the Departed issues notices targeting people, and then has other spirits kill them, correct? Yeah, and it's been pretty successful. We have a number of victims already. That spirit seems to have some human tendencies, eh? They behave a bit like a serial killer. The Departed is different from any other spirit I've encountered so far. They're cunning, and they possess the ability to possess, pass themselves off as a human and hide within the school. And I've also heard they're obsessed with you, no? You sure have a strong connection with spirits, DG. Well, that's ironic. I guess so. I wonder if that's just another aspect of my lineage. Like the way I seem to be able to see paranormal phenomena that others can't. Yeah. Well then, should we proceed with the investigation? Wait a minute, Hiro. I'm going to investigate alone. I don't want to get you involved in this. Say what? You're just going to disregard my feelings? I don't get say in the matter? Hiro. Didn't you understand what I told you before? You aren't the only one who feels frustrated about what happened to Diamond. So you better ditch the weird, I'm the only one who can carry this burden, I'll sacrifice myself mindset. And it gets on my nerves. But... I'll just take matters into my own hands if you keep insisting. Stay, I stay out of this. Just give it up. A triumphant smile brightens her features. I don't think I'm going to win a war in wits against her. Moving on to your investigation. I've heard there's no new notice, notice yet. As of this moment, that is correct. I have a feeling one will arrive soon though. Let's go check the faculty room. You have a sixth sense or something? I guess you could call it that. I have a feeling the departed wants me, their dear husband, to continue pursuing the, ca the case. If my hunch is right, that means they'll be more likely to issue a notice while I'm here at school. Good to see Hero. She's cool. She's cool. There are sacred objects in the corner room. Ah, so. We still don't have any new items to purchase. So we'll just hold on to our souls for now. There are eight in this chapter. God. Okay. That means it's going to be a long one. See if I can find them all. I, I found them all so far, so I want to I keep going with that. I want to keep, keep her up. When I get to the room, one of the teachers informs me that Mr. Kanoe is away at the moment. Which unfortunately means I'm going to have to ask Sakamoto. Goodness gracious, you again? Sakamoto's cold tone of voice makes it apparent that she finds this meeting just as unfortunate as I. What's your business here? I have work to do. Has a new notice come from the departed arrived? Notice? Oh, now that you mention it, I did get a report or something like that earlier. What about it? What are you being so nonchalant for? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I believe I've made my position quite clear. I find this investigation of yours to be at best a pointless waste of time. Sakamoto shoots a withering glare in my direction, looking like she just swallowed a bug. 
She's usually pretty open about her dislike of me, but she's taking it to another level today. I got a report from the dorm manager the other day. She informed me that you took Doryu and Kinokawa out and made them violate their curfew. Say what? The headmaster might be, have ordered me to... The headmaster might have ordered me to let your absurd behaviour slide, but this is unacceptable. So that's why she's being particularly hostile toward me today. I didn't make those girls break curfew, but I can see how it'd skew that way in Sakamoto's mind, and I doubt my explanation would change much. Those notices are pranks. It's mere coincidence that the students disappeared when the notices were issued. The departed ghosts and supernatural, it's all a bunch of ludicrous nonsense. To think a man like you has sullied the good name of teachers just to investigate this rubbish. Sakamoto's practically got steam coming out of her ears. I wonder what I can do to calm her down. <sighs> Be delicate. Trying to convince her ardent non-believers of supernatural can only make both sides frustrated. It's a waste of energy to try. Let's just get what I need and get out of here. Where's the new notice? I don't have it with me. I told the student to pick it up. To, I told the student to pick it up to throw it away. You told them to do what now? Which student was it? The Kuta from the disciplinary committee. He found it when patrolling the school. What does he look like? He's a big fella. He's a strapping, well-built boy. He's in the karate club. Oh my, look at the time. I have to go now. I have a meeting. Or I can even protest. Sakamoto's already left the room. But the teachers are following suit. Well, she's clearly not a fan of yours, DG. Though you pretty much earned the treatment for hitting on high school students. I didn't. That's not what happened. Stop making things weird. Looks like we're going to have to put in some effort to find this Kakuta boy. I mean, we might stumble upon him simply by stopping to talk to each student we see on the way. But it'd be nice if we had a bit more information to go on. More information. Dorio Mishio might know him. Sakamoto's obviously going to keep be keeping a close eye on my contact with those two, but I can't let her interfere with my work. Uh, let's go to the student council room. Maybe they're here. Dory was organizing documents in the student council room. Oh, Mr. DG, thank you again for your help. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Do you know Kakuta? I've heard he's a big guy from the disciplinary committee. I know him, he's in 2C. How about you try looking for him in his classroom? Got it, thanks. Hey, that was easy. Uh, I'm gonna check the library just for the sake of it. No one here. I just, yeah, I'm just being weird and thorough. Um, and I might as well save again as well. Just in case I need to like load the file up again, right? I am going to be like annoying and try to find all the teeth though. Oh, and I want to change my coat back as well. Normal. Yeah, brown coat, brown coat. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, wanna go home together? The sun's almost set. Why me? So you don't care if I get killed by the departed on my way home? What? That's not what I said. Let's go home together then. Huh, fine, what a pain. Alright, well I guess we scared them out of the class. Two people who look like siblings left the classroom. Nothing else of interest here. Be, I'm gonna be really irritating and, and I, I don't want to miss any teeth. I'm really sorry <laughs> Maybe I'll edit this out but somehow I doubt it <laughs> There's a large bulletin board here. This is with the first notice was posted when I move the papers around There's a knife damage and some red marks. This red thing looks like mold huh? Do you mind if I collect it and analyze it? No, oh, by all means, please. Go outside and continue the investigation other places? I don't- I don't need to. I don't need to. The school is getting strange these days. I know, right? It smells musty here. Is it because of the departed? Oh, I've heard there's an outbreak of mold somewhere in the school. Yikes, just imagine that makes my skin itchy. Anyway, let's go home. Yeah. Be gone, students. Be gone. Couple. Notices for students posted on the bulletin board. 
Love activities, head home as soon as class is over. Spirits only appear at night, so we'd be fine during the day. I guess you can never be too careful. Yeah. All these female restroom. Hero, can you inspect this area? Oh, alright. Wait a second. I looked inside, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Take your time. I will. Right, I'm gonna check this room over here as well. Locked, well open. Okay, I don't need to go to the old building, so I'll skip that for now. Let's go straight up here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, look, it's, um, Michio. Oh, hello there. I caught a painted lady in the courtyard earlier. Want to watch some butterflies together? Sorry, but I'm in a hurry now. Do you know Kakuta? I've heard he's a big guy from the disciplinary committee. Oh, I saw him going to the third floor just now. What business do you have with that karate guy, though? Is the new notice target in the karate kid or something? <laughs> karate kid. I don't know yet, but thanks for the info. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really annoying, and I'm gonna check this floor as well. Sorry, chat. I know I know it's tedious, but um, I don't want to miss any of these teeth. <laughs> If I'm just, like, extra thorough in one playthrough, then I don't have to do more, right? Are we the only ones left at this school? No. Nope, I think the student council members are still here. Damn, they sure like to stay late, despite all the rumours. I don't really fear the departed since I know you're going to protect me. The heck are you talking about? I'm not- I'm totally not saving you. I'm not good with ghosts and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now. What? Well, me too. Silly. You know, students take, taken down, gone down the stairs. I wonder if, like, we have to shoo away all these students. Emergency exit. Oh, I was gonna say I don't remember that doll. Like, I wonder if we have to shoo away all the students because the uh, the big fella from the disciplinary committee uh, needs a us to show them all where because that, that's what they do right disciplinary committee is like enforces um like the school rules and stuff so they need to like make sure everybody's left the school essentially so i wonder if uh, that was like it's good would be a requirement Yeah, why is this window covered by curtains? We've seen this before. Weird. Very weird. It's locked. Okay, good. And I'm just going to enjoy my coffee in the meantime. Hi Meow Rick, how's it going? How was the vision novel? It's marvellous. I'm a huge fan of this series. I saw a big guy go into the back of the hallway earlier. It's probably Kakuta from second year. I wonder what he's up to. Um, Alright, let's go. I do want to examine these classrooms. But I'll like do it on my way back down the, the corridor. Look at him, there he is. Emergency exit, yeah. There's a big, well-built guy standing over there. He looks pretty strapping. You, Kakuta. He is actually massive. You look at him, he's actually hunched over by the looks of it as well. Yes, the name's Shinichi Kakuta. Where's the departed's notice? I'm hoping you haven't thrown it away already. No, I still have it. Miss Sakamoto told me to trash it, but... Felt like I should show it to you since you're investigating them. Thanks a lot. How does he know that we're doing that? You should thank Doryu and Kinokawa. They've been asking everyone to pitch in and help you. Oh, that's lovely. 
but it's dangerous. He pulls out the departed's notice and hands it to me. If that's it, I'll be heading to my classroom. Feel free to come to 2C if you still need anything. I'll be at school for a while. <clears throat> my boys, is it spoopy? I mean... Not not to me, but I don't really get scared by her again. The thing that scares me in this is when one of my teammates' lives in, might be in danger or I might have made a choice that leads them to death. That's what like worries me. But in terms of like horror, like doesn't no, I, I don't really get scared. Not not by horror games. I get scared by the ocean and bugs. Kakuta then walks off. I quickly scan the new notice. It has all the hallmarks of the previous notices. An accordance folded piece of an accordion folded piece of paper with eerie handprints on it. So this is what a notice looks like, eh? <laughs> It's really giving off the horror vibes. Hurry up and check it out, come on. Dear Hooligan, the curry will kill you tonight. I'm watching you hiding the school. Your beloved departed. Hmm. Hooligan. We need to find out who Hooligan is then. The next victim is Hooligan and the spirit is Kakuri. So by Hooligan, they mean those boorish thug types, right? Yeah, so... F so I think we should try and gather information that would lead us to the identity of these two things. Asking the remaining students would probably be more fruitful than asking the teachers. The faculty doesn't seem to so cooperative. Yeah, and the she keeps cutting him off. Maybe the student council girl will tell you. I mean, she actually appears to be trying to help you. Also, I'd like to hear more from that Kakuta kid. Yeah. What's with you? Yeah. Come on, give me more to work with than that. This is your operation here. Don't make me handle everything alone. Oh, okay. As much as I want to point out that she's cut me off every time I've tried to speak, I hold my tongue. Besides, Hiru's plan of attack is basically what I've suggested. We better start asking around about Hooligan and Kakuri. Alright, I'm going to check these, these rooms for a... Uh, or any more teeth. Maybe it's too early for the teeth. Maybe I'm in the wrong building, but I want to be thorough. I don't want to miss them. I think I'm in the wrong building, to be honest. But it won't take long. It's the last floor, so... And there's eight teeth to find it. Why is this window closed? That's two windows that are just randomly... Hmm. Yeah, nothing in there. What are you still doing here? It's about time to leave school anyway. Now I've got to prove that the departed won't appear even if I stay here alone. Hanako this, Kakuri that, people in the school are wacky. Who even believes ghosts and demons exist? Looking closely, the male student's legs are obviously trembling. Sorry, I just thought it was weird and funny. Did you find Kakuta? Yes, thank you. I'm happy that I could help. So what do you want to talk about? Actually, we found a new notice. Whoa, so another one's finally here, huh? Show me. Show Mishio the Departed's notice. Ah, so the next spirit is Kakuri. Well, Kakuri usually refers to the old fortune telling technique, but I'm sure you already know about that, right? Do not, actually. Let me explain it to you then. Kakuri is a fortune telling technique that uses a coin and a piece of paper. You summon a spirit named Kakuri and ask them some questions. Okay, I think I have heard of this before. It can be dangerous since you're dealing with spirit after all. There are some people who get big scare out of it. But if the Kakuri mentioned in the notice is a ghost, not the fortune telling technique. So Kakuri is both the name of the technique and the summoned spirit. And the rumor is referring to the spirit. Oh, Can you tell me more about it, Michio? Sure, why not? Chat. That reminds me. Hime and I were called by Miss Sakamoto this afternoon. Do you know what she said? Don't get too close to Mr. DG. He doesn't belong here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I shouldn't have talked to you. She's probably going to give you a lecture. Ha, huh, don't worry about it. You're my lifesaver and you're hunting down the departed like I am. So about the Kakuri in the notice. 
I have a feeling it might be referring to Mr. Kakuri. To me, I keep thinking of like Kakakuri from Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a rumor that like that at Konohara Academy. Chapter 5. Mr. Kokuri. Coffee time. Have you ever gone to the corridor on the second floor? Of course not. That place is restricted. Do you know why? It's because of the Kakuri Shrine. That place is cursed. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I've even heard stories about it. Oh, look at that. On rainy day, some delinquents were hanging out on the second floor's corridor. They were kind of notorious. They were <laughs> like the <laughs> like the rap artists. Uh, they were getting in fights on a daily basis. There were even rumors that they were into drugs. I guess they must have been bored. So they were messing around with the shrine as a dare, all laughing with their stupid faces. They were kicking the shrine and scribbling on it, all sorts of things. One of them even put out a cigarette on it. The wind and rain got stronger. The delinquents were about to head back inside. And at that moment, they heard a voice mixed with the wind. Yeah. Oh, again. They turned toward the old shrine, the source of the voice, figuring someone must have been playing a prank on them. Except they were the only ones in the corridor. Obviously, they thought they were just imagining things. Those delinquents looked at each other and then ran away from the corridor as fast as they could. But that night... One of the delinquents, the one who snuffed out the cigarette on the shrine, felt a pain in his ear. He felt a strange sensation when he touched his ear. It was dry and rough. It was weird, like there was something in his ear. Oh no. Terrified, he went to go check himself in the mirror. Oh. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought. I thought there was going to be a bug crawling out of his ear. Mushrooms are growing from his ear. Folded cat mushrooms that look like matake. Still gross. The mushrooms continue to spread. From his ear to his neck, his cheeks, and then his chin. The delinquent shrieked and then... He called an ambulance. He got himself checked at the hospital. They found no trace of mushrooms, but his ear had really bad infection. The skin was rotting away, so they had to cut his ear off. That's rough. When a teacher heard the story, they said, it's the curse of the Kokuri Shrine. That voice must have been Mr. Kokuri's, and that was his work. The rumors say Mr. Kokuri is the apparition of a priest who haunts the shrine. And that was the rumor about Mr. Kokuri. So please stay away from the shrine in the second floor's corridor. If you're cursed by the mushrooms, your lovely face will be ruined. Is Mr. Kokuri the name of the shrine? Correct. It's called Mr. Kokuri because the shrine has a mysterious voice. No one knows what Mr. Kokuri looks like, as they only heard his voice. Creepy, isn't it? Um, yeah. Beware of the second floor corridor. That's where Mr. Kokuri shows up. If you get too close, mushrooms will start growing on your face. All right, hooligan. Hmm, I can't think of anyone. Maybe Izumi, I guess, but he's already dead. Thanks for the info. By the way, Mr. DG, I've never seen the person beside you. Is she a doctor like Mr. Diamond? Why are you so curious all of a sudden? I'm a researcher, not a doctor, though I do also deal with the health of living beings as part of my job. Oh, I see. An idol and a female scientist, huh? You sure have some amazing and gorgeous assistants? By the way, which one do you prefer? They're both dependable in their own ways. I has the stamina, Hero has the intelligence. That's not what I mean. Oh well. It was stupid of me to expect something. Eh, yeah, you two sure are close. This girl might be the departed, you know. I know. Shush, Hero. Oh, I don't mind, as long as Mr. DG trusts me. Sorry, it's a joke. I'm kind of on edge since we don't have any idea who the departed might be. I don't mind. In this kind of situation, it's natural to have some suspicion. Ugh, I miss my normal school life. Hey, DG. I know who Hooligan is. 
shouldn't we be able to pretty much guess who Hooligan may be? I know who it is. I've seen them before once in the whole game. Based on what Mishio told me about the Mr. Kakuri rumors. Shinichi Kakuta, a delinquent student. I agree with you there, but I still have no clue who it might be. The rumors said a delinquent student who was cursed by the shrine in the second floor corridor. Why don't we go take a look there? Wait, are you serious? Aren't you being too cavalier here? We're going to be stepping into some deep shit if we approach that shrine. I'm not doing it for entertainment, it's for the investigation. You can stay here if you don't want to go. I never said I wouldn't and I didn't want to go. I just wondered if there was a better way to do this. That's it, I'm not scared at all. Alright, see so you let miss you. Right, we're on the second floor still. He he said his class was in 2C, was it? I think. 2C. So I want to check in on um, the big fella. Just just see if there's anything new with him. Hello, Mr. DG. Do you still need anything from me? Chat. I've actually read that notice. A spirit named Kakuri is going to kill Hooligan tonight, right? Well, Mr. Kanui told me to discuss the incident with students out of consideration for their mental well-being. Can't just give him a dismissive reply, though. No need to hide it. The rumors have spread. Izumi, the pianist, Hiro Horikoshi, the model, have been just killed, just as the notice said. Anyway, and the one who killed them was a spirit named the departed, right? They're hiding in the school right now. If rumors of the incidents have already spread to this extent, I'm not doing anyone any favors by keeping my mouth shut. I doubt that these rumors have been purposely spread by anyone with Target. These students believe in the departed, and they're connecting the dots, spreading the rumors on their own. The weaker students must be tired of living in fear. I guess they're scared of the idea that the person next to them might be the departed. Are you not scared, Kakuta? Me? Scared? <laughs> no way. If a spirit dares show itself to me, I'll just go to work with these fists. Alright, mate. Because I don't really understand spirits. How about asking Kinokawa from the student council? She seems to know a lot about- yeah, that's fine. That's the person mentioned the notice, right? Do you have any idea who it might be? Mm, if we're talking about hooligans at this school, I can only think of the delinquents. Those punks keep ignoring the school's rules and it's really pissing me off. Who is on the disciplinary committee, so it's not surprising that the behaviour of some punks has got him all riled up. Alright, return. Stop. Hello, Dragon Emperor. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? We're playing a horror game. It's very graphic. Uh, if you're not good with, like, uh, very graphic imagery and body horror. Oh, is that not the door? It must be this way, then. Uh, that's This game is full of it. Second floor's corridor should just be ahead. There's a crumpled paper in the gap between the doors. Second floor corridor is off limits. The shrine where people supposedly heard Mr. Kurakuri's voice should be right ahead. Looks like the door's unlocked. Let's check the place out. Keep my eye out for any, like, shit. Keep my eye out for any more teeth. I'm desperate to find all the teeth. Knew it. Yeah. You can't see it behind my VTube model. It's uh, it's the delinquent girl. She's a Gauryu, I think it's called. I think it is. Oh, wow. Tanned, ostentiously styled girl is absent mindedly lingering near the shrine. Give her a friendly greeting. Warn her. Hello there. Her reply is unintelligible, more of a groan. Just ignore her, DG. Something's wrong with her. I'm not done with her yet. Oh, that's it. That's all the dialogue I got. Okay. Well, she seems like she's already going to die. So I just wanna... Door is locked tightly shut, can't enter the old building from here. Do you know what the big straw rope in front of this door is? I have a feeling it's telling us not to enter, like in a spiritual sense. I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. So uh, That's right. An old shrine is standing here. 
This has got to be the shrine from the rumor about Mr. Kurakuri. Let's take a closer look. Inspect. The first thing that stands out to me is that it's a rather small shrine. It's completely weathered after being exposed to the elements for a long period of time. Another noticeable feature is the number of talismans on it, and the fact that the talismans have centipedes. The image on the talismans look like kind of centipede. There's a small gap in the shrine door. It's too dark to tell what's inside though. We need to open the door first if we want to see what's inside. That's a bad idea. I reach toward the door to check what's inside. Old man. The female student next to me groans and slowly forces out some words. Don't do anything bad to the shrine. Uh, old man, yeah. <gasps> She's already... He thinks I'm a hooligan. Growling, the female student launches an attack. With a terrifying look in her eyes, the female student raises something resembling a baton. I see something that looks like mushrooms around her neck. Maybe she's possessed. Bag. Bag. Hero bag. Take the attack. Attack with my bag. I need to defend myself with my bag. Take the attack. I need to defend myself with the bag, I think. Yes. I use my bag as a shield and try to deflect her attacks. I block her attack with my bag. Great. Was it the right choice? The most student flinches for a moment. I should be able to restrain her now. However, she regains the balance before I can make my move. And she then swings her baton and launches another attack. I'm struggling so much just to repel her attacks all by myself. If I want to make any progress, I need a different course of action. Looks like this isn't the right choice. Okay, so I need to, I need to do it as a team thing. Yeah. The so team up with hero bag. Take the attack? And then, like, Hero will step in and, and uh, restrain her. <clears throat> we clutch the bag tightly and block her attack. Nice. The female student recoils. Grab her, Hero. Okay, come down. Hero captures the student's arms from behind. Helping out, I immediately restrain her. The student lets out a yell and then and then goes quiet. Looks like this is the right choice. Survived. Hooligan. <laughs> Chat is pointing at me and calling me a hooligan. The student faints and the mushrooms on her neck instantly vanish. So it really was a spiritual phenomenon. Assuming the rest of the room is accurate, that would mean the mushrooms were the shrine's curse. Keep an eye on her, Hiru. I'll investigate the inside of the shrine. Sh sh sure thing. I walk toward the shrine and put my hand on the door. There's a talisman on it. Inside the shrine, I find some bizarre stuff. Whoa, what in there? Petri dish used for experiments. Inside the dish is a dead centipede. Some red substance appears to be growing from the centipede. What in the world is it? it I guess it's like the mold or, or something. Because they send this like red mold around the place. Oh, I see so you found something interesting. Those red filaments are probably mushrooms. It's difficult to tell without the caps. Right. Without me realizing it, Hiro is already peering over my shoulder. Looks like those are mushroom hyphae growing on the dead centipede. I think they're of Officiodiceps sinensis. Very interesting. But what's it doing here? All shrines aren't usually a place where you'd store lab equipment. What are you going to do with the petri dish? Bet you're going to keep it. I, I guess so, yeah. 
Dressed by Hiro, whose eyes are sparkling with curiosity, I collect the Petri dish. What are we going to do with her? It doesn't seem like she's going to regain consciousness anytime soon. We can't just leave her here. Let's take her back to the infirmary. Hoist the female student on my back and leave the corridor. From there, I walk straight to the infirmary. The smell of cigarette smoke assaults my nose the moment I enter. Oh, is it the detective? Much yeah, I love this guy. You're finally back. I've been waiting. Inside, I see a sharp-eyed man tossing his cigarette into a portable ashtray. Mashita. Ugh, the smell of cigarettes. Hey, no smoking inside the school. There are kids here. You're a terrible influence, you know. Where's your common sense, Bashir? Oh, is that how it is? Back in my day, the teachers would openly smoke in the faculty room. Well, times have changed. You need to be more considerate. Shh, what a pain. Anyway, who's that kid on your back? Let me lay her down first, then we can talk. Hi, Hexalia. Welcome in. I put the unconscious girl down on the bed. She's totally out of it. Guess I'll just have to leave her here for a moment. Alright, can you give me the details now? Don't exactly expect to reunite with your friend and find him carrying an unconscious girl on the back. Fine, I've got some questions to ask you too. Ask about Mash Mashita. Satoru Mashita, a mark bearer and former detective who is now working as a private investigator. He's not really all that knowledgeable about spirits, paranormal phenomena, but after the events of our shared past, he often joins me when I'm on spirit-related cases. Never would have expected to come to a place like this, even on investigation. You mean a school that's still in session? Yeah. He place full of brats sounds like nothing but trouble to me. Hell, I got scolded just for having a freaking smoke. Sneaking into an abandoned school is way easier. Let me just make one thing clear, Mashita. I'm begging you, please try not to attract any unwanted attention. No guarantees on that, pal. I'm just going to do things my own way. And if anyone's got a problem with that, they'll just have to deal with it. The corner of his mouth twitches into a mischievous grin. I love this guy. He, he just, like... He just... He spits like the, um... Like when you think of a fox, like the personality of a fox, just this guy. Mashita is a man who will do anything for his investigation. Mr. Kanoen Sakamoto will not appreciate his presence or methods. But his eccentric methods are a way of dragging the truth out of situations where a more civilized approach would fail. Why is he here? Have you finished your job, Mashita? Yeah, can't tell you much about it though, since I'm under NDA. And just when I thought I'd be able to relax for a bit. That hag Yasuke asked me to help you out. She's a real slave driver. This man is different from the other mark bearers. Because of his job, he's a seasoned veteran when it comes to cases involving dangerous and bizarre spirits. He's offering to help. I'll jump on it. His help makes it that much more likely that Hiro and the Departed's targets will survive. Sorry for causing you trouble. Save your thanks for the old bag. I'm just here to work. Yasuka gave me a summary of the case. A spirit masquerading as a student, huh? Wonder how their grades are. He's cracking jokes, but his eyes show no trace of a smile. Under the surface, he must be just as tense as we are. You want to know what I think? You're basically being jerked around by the Departed's notices. All those spirits from the notices, and you're still no closer to figuring out who the Departed is. Maybe you're right. But if I just ignore the notices, someone's going to die. Tch, then what's your plan? You're just going to keep dancing to their tune until they get bored and quit? That's... Don't get sidetracked and forget your original goal, DG. The only way you can solve this case is to find the Departed hiding in the school. And what you should do is start looking at everyone around you as a potential suspect. Well, he's not wrong. Not wrong at all. By the way, DG. Mishita jerks his head over in the direction of the girl on the bed. Tell me about her already. How long have you going to make me wait? Share everything I've learned about Mr. Kokurian Hooligan and the events of the Shrine. Huh, so this kid attacked you? School violence is kind of a lost art these days. What a special moment in your teaching career, eh, Mr. DJ? Cut it out with that. Hearing you say that makes my skin crawl. No matter how you choose to look at it, this kid isn't normal. She called us hooligans and had mushrooms growing along her neck. Right, considering that, maybe she was possessed by Kakuri. I recall the time Mishio was possessed by slip-mouthed Kashima. She was fully under the control of the spirit, led by the desires. This student might have been the same as her. Who is this kid anyway? She doesn't have a student handbook, and no matter how much we shake her, she's not showing any signs of waking up. 
Waiting for her to wake up is such a waste of time. Let's just ask someone else about her. Should be able to find someone who knows who she is pretty quickly. She's obviously trying to stand out. Let's ask around about the Petri dish too while we're at it. Who knows, maybe we can learn who placed this inside the shrine. So we're just going to show that thing to the students? They're going to start talking about me. <laughs> too late to worry about your reputation. You already tricked two female students into breaking their curfew. I don't care if you get all chummy with those brats with the investigation, but... You better not do something weird that ends up blowing back up to me, DG. Give me a break, you two. I really hope this puts a stop to this topic. I'll have whoever I don't bring with me keeping an eye on the unconscious girl while I resume the investigation. Let's see if anyone at the school can tell me about this girl or the Petri dish. Hmm... Who should I take with me? Hi Uzi, how you doing? Irrepressibly curious researcher, grizzled, unorthodox ex-detective. I'll keep um, Hiru with me for the time being because I'm... I somehow suspect... Oh, maybe I should take... Mishita. I'll, I'll take Mishita with me for the time being, yeah, yeah. Because... Student council room. All right, let's start going through the areas. Did you find Kakuta? Yes, along with a new notice. So there's another new notice. Mind showing me? I showed Dorio the departed's notice. So they're threatening to kill someone again. And if it's my job to prevent that from happening, and if you've got any information that could help, please let me know. Sure. Oh, that reminds me, I've been wondering about this for a little bit now. I realized that you started calling Mashio, Mishio by her first name. Uh, mind telling me why? I had a feeling this would come up. Actually, I told Dori about Mishio forced me to call her by her first name if I wanted her to cooperate. I figured. I couldn't imagine someone as serious as you just deciding to be so casual with her students. Their students. You bring up a good point, what do you think? Should I go back to calling her by her last name? No, don't do that. Michelle will hate me. Why would she? Uh, she? She's trying to get along with you in her own way. So I don't want to interfere with her wishes like that. Oh, all right. All right. Um, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Let me give you a quick shout out. That's the wrong command. Fortunately, I don't have any uh, mods, so I have to do things like by myself. Welcome in everybody. Uh, did you have a good time? Um, let's keep going. I can't really respond much to chat. I'm sorry. Um, there's a lot of text to get through. <laughs> sorry, I don't really know much about spirits. You should ask Michio instead. She's over by the second floor of the new building. Yep. Hooligan. Hooligan, huh? Compared to the model and pianist, this one's got a lot more room for interpretation. Finding the target might not be so easy. Oh, we already got him. I describe the girl who attacked me and ask if she knows her. I think I have an idea who she is. It might be one of the first years, Saki Maruhashi. What's she like? I don't know her personally, but some of the first year council members were telling me some things. They said that she's never had any friends and is always on her own. She's got a bad rep because of it. There's nobody to defend her. There are all kinds of rumors surrounding her, saying she's like she likes to go out at night, drink and smoke, and she's associated with a biker gang. She probably sounds like she'll get along with Mashita. These may be just rumours, but if they're true, that makes Saki Maruhashi a kid worthy of the name Hooligan. Yeah. I take out the keep creepy Petri dish, Petri dish and show it to Doryu. Uh, what is that? A dead centipede, and what are those red things? They're actually mushrooms. Do you know anything about this Petri dish? N not at all. I don't know anything at all about it. Mr. DG, can you please keep it away from me? Yes, yeah, sorry about that. To be fair, she did get covered in bugs, yeah. Doria breathes a huge sigh of relief when I put the Petri dish back in my bag. Her reaction's totally normal. Mashita and I have just become so desensitized to these sorts of creepy things that we forget to how normal people view them. Yeah, it's true. Finish my conversation with Doryu and I'll leave the student council room. Faculty room? Let's go here. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you again, Bagel, and uh, have a great time. There's no one here, let's go somewhere else. Library. 
No one here. That's okay. That's good. I'm actually going to go back and swap my partners because I've had an idea. Uh, change. I know Michio knows a lot about insects because she's quite a fan. So I'm going to take the... Uh, this character, I can't remember her name now. <laughs> um, I'm going to take this lady with me. Let's see. She's intelligence and dexterous, and he's strength and intelligence. Interesting, okay. Let's go up here. We need to find Michio. Michio knows insects, so. Do you know what the female mantis devours the male mantis after me? Yeah, I did. So, what do you want to ask me? <laughs> That's a hell of a way to introduce yourself. Pay attention to Miss Sakamoto. He married your allies. Yes. Oops. Press the wrong button. Uh, creepy petri dish. Petri dish. I take out the creepy petri dish and show it to Michio. Chinese red Colopendra suspiniapes mutilans. Did you know, even though the name centipede means 100 foot, there aren't many centipedes that actually have 100 feet? I think, like, only a few soil centipedes have that many feet. Seizing the opportunity to talk about insects, Michio immediately begins flexing her knowledge about centipedes. She doesn't even have a reaction to the terrible sight inside the dish. Hey, um, I appreciate the centipede lesson, but what about the mushrooms? Huh, so these red thing is a mushrooms? No clue, it's beyond my scope of knowledge. Oh, I see, thanks. Judging by that reaction, Michio won't be able to tell us anything useful about the Petri dish. Interesting. Okay. I described the girl who attacked me and asked if she knows her. I think I've seen her before, but I don't know her name. I'm not a delinquent after all. Rip. I am. Right. Uh, now there's the big fella down here. We need to find him. 2C, there we go. Hello, Mr. DG, do you still need anything from me? Uh, yes. Delinquent girl. I described the girl who attacked me as if he, as if, and ask if he knows her. Yeah, I know her. She's always hangs out in the connecting corridor. She keeps going there, even though I've wandered so many times. This is why I hate delinquents. They're stupid. Do you know anything else? Nothing in particular. I don't really care to know about delinquents. If she wasn't a girl, I would have punched her in the face. <laughs> Holy moly. Hey now, aren't you the in karate club? Male or female, students shouldn't fight with each other. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joking. Martial arts should be only used to train your mind and body, not hurt others. I take the creepy petri dish from my bag and show it to Kakuta. Uh, the moment he sees the dish, his eyes bulge. What's wrong, Kakuta? No, it, it's just... My apologies, it's just so disgusting. I don't even know what to say. Centipedes alone are already gross, but the mushrooms just make it so much worse. Where did you find it? The science room? No, it was inside the shrine in the second floor's connecting corridor. Huh? What was this thing doing in there? I have no idea either. Doubt it's a prank. Oh. Uh, I have to get back to patrolling. Sorry, but I've got to end our chat here. Kakuta bids us farewell and quickly leaves classroom. Hey DG, there's something weird with Kakuta's statement. Did you catch it? What's off about Kakuta's statement? What he said about the centipede. What he said about the mushrooms. What he said about patrolling. I think what he said about the mushrooms. Because we didn't tell him they were mushrooms. It's the mushrooms, of course. When I first saw the petri dish, I didn't even realize they were mushrooms. But Kakuta noticed that right away. That's a bit strange. Exactly. For a sec there, I was worried that you might have missed it. I have a feeling he knows where those mushrooms came from. We better speak to Kakuta again. He should still be at school. Let's go find him. Right, I'm gonna swap back to the other guy now. The detective. The ex-detective. The investigator. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So you I don't think it matters too much who you take with you, but I kind of want to take who I feel is the right person at the right time, because 
this guy's gonna be able to potentially like pick up on details that that the other lady wouldn't. I reckon he's gone outside. He's gone out here, hasn't he? He isn't out here. I'm surprised. Yoshi. All shrines stand there. I found the Petri edition side last night. Let's check it again just to be sure. There's really nothing else inside. Okay. Wait. Hold on. There's something in the corner. We found a tooth. We need to find seven more. Well, that's good. I was wondering as well, like maybe if if Kakuta put the centipede there, I don't know if he did, but if he did, and he noticed that we took it out, did he replace it with another one or something? You know? Oh, it's the science room. Oh, we can go in here now. Large shelf with glass door, flasks, and vases stored. They're clearly lab equipment and useful class. I better not touch them. So I should probably have the other the lady on me, or with me. Large shelf of glass door, test tubes, tripods are stored. For some reason, there are a number of dead insects stuck on the door. You can't get replica results when you have contaminants in your rep receptacles. Receptacles? Is it like this in every school? Out of cases used for carrying equipment. I shake it lightly, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Storage room. Hello? Mr. Bear? Kakuta's inside the storage room. Several documents are scattered on the floor below him. It looks as if the room has been ransacked. Mr. DG, I didn't do this. The room was already a mess when I came in. Please, you've got to believe me. Just tell me what happened here first, Kakuta. Yes. When I was patrolling the school, I saw someone coming out of the science room. They seemed kind of suspicious, so I decided to check it out. The room looked the same as it always does, but... I unlocked the storage room here to have a look, just in case. That's when I found this mess. So you're suggesting that there was a mess in here while the door was already locked? That's what you're saying happened? Yes, that's what really happened. Damn, I could have caught the culprit if I'd just come in sooner. His eyes dart every which way as he's trying to spin his tail. My gut tells me that he's hiding something. He definitely is. Let's press him for details. Ask about the suspicious person. Ask about the science room. Ask about the storage room key. The storage room was locked, right? Yes, so I unlocked it. Since I'm on patrol, I have keys with me. Is it easy to borrow the keys? Ah, not at all. Who knows what those delinquents would do if they had these keys. Only trustworthy students like me. Someone on the disciplinary committee would be able to borrow these keys. You saw someone coming out of the room, right? What did they look like? A delinquent boy with brown hair. He was running at off a full speed, so I couldn't get a good look at his face. Why didn't you chase him? I didn't know what I should do. At that time, I had no idea he'd been poking around in the storage room. Is anything missing from the science room? Hmm, I don't think so. But I'm not totally sure, since I don't often come here. My apologies. Did you check if there were any shadows someone might be hiding in there? I checked over the room, but I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. That's why I decided to enter the storage room. That's all I need to hear from Kakuta. Of the three pieces of information he gave me, two of them are inconsistent. He may give himself away if, if we point it out. Let's put his feet in fire, shall we? The delinquent in the science room. The delinquent in the key. room in the key. It said the culprit went into the science room. Yes, that's right. And then he broke into the storage room. Correct. Don't you think those two statements clash with each other? No, I don't think so. Please don't make any weird accusations, Mr. DG. Sorry, I guess I got it wrong. 
Back is the wrong idea. Oh, okay. Well, it lets me guess on each anyway. You said you saw a delinquent student, right? Yes, that's right. And that the culprit entered the science room. Correct. Do you think those two statements clash? No, I don't think so. Sorry. I got it wrong in both cases. You said you saw a delinquent student, right? Yes, that's right. You said it was locked when you came in, which means the perpetrator locked it behind himself. Yeah, but you also said the key's under tight control, and that it never lent... It never lent out to untrust with the delinquent students. Just wondering if you could explain that for me. Um, he must be st he must have stolen the spare key. Those delinquents, they have no shame. What else is this guy capable of? Well, I suppose we cannot always go check if the spare key's been stolen or not. Except, I've got an alternate theory. Kakuta, you broke into the room using the key you're holding. Uh, I have no idea what you did. I have no idea why you did that, but... You started acting weird after I showed you this to you. This to you. Enya, thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Welcome in, everybody. There you go. Welcome in. Do you know anything about these mushrooms? I, I don't really know the details. I was just told to do this. By who? Th th that's... Was it Miss Sakamoto by any chance? The sound of a phone vibrating echoes in the room. The cooter takes out his phone. He then stares at the screen, his eyes wide with intense concentration. Oh, I was summoned. I have to go or else I'll be killed. Killed? Who told you they're going to kill you? M. M MK? Kuta runs out of the storage room, screaming at the top of his lungs. Wait! I dash after Kakuta with Mashita following hot on my heels. When I saw him running away like that, my mind immediately flashed back to Naomi Horikoshi who ran away from us right before she met a tragic fate. I'm determined to prevent history from repeating itself. Uh, for anyone who was in the raid, this game gets pretty graphic. We've seen severed heads in toilets. We've seen hose pipes pushing people's eyeballs out. We've seen scissors penetrating people from the inside out. Um, so, yeah, just a heads up. Uh, the artwork in this game is absolutely sublime. I absolutely adore the artwork in this game, um, even though the graphic stuff. But uh, yeah, it's pretty It's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up. So uh, just, just a heads up to anybody. My stamina fa fails me midway through the chase and Kakuta disappears into the distance. The heck is on with that brat stamina? We never even gained ground on him. He must be some kind of monster. He's in the cry club. I agree with Mashita. His physical prowess certainly seems like it's beyond that of a typical high student. High school student, almost as if he's being possessed by a spirit. Fine then, let's go back to the science room. I'm curious what Kakuta was trying to do. Yeah. But first, I want to explore this room. We return to the science room storage room. My whole body feels as heavy as lead both physically and f from fatigue and mentally from looming sense of powerlessness. I'm starting to feel like my prey stuck in a spi- I'm prey stuck in a spider's web, struggling pointlessly while the departed exerts total control over me. Does this struggle have any purpose? Can I even save a single person? Don't give me that hang hanged dog look. Just focus on moving the investigation forward and don't think about anything else. If you can't handle that, then hit the road, hero. I can handle the rest. No, I'm fine. Mashita is right. We need to act, not mope. Let's inspect the storage room. We need to figure out why Kakuta broke out into this place. Thank you so much for the raid, Enya. Uh, guys, make sure you follow Enya. Enya is very lovely. Very, uh, very bubbly. Very bubbly personality. There's a large spiral shell fossil inside the shelf. Is this an ammonite? Its distinctive shape looks pretty artistic for someone, something natural. Um, as for me... Uh, I like to promote video games on the behalf of others. I've worked with uh, 110 industries that published Wanted Dead. I've worked with um, Two Left Thumbs who published Dead Estate. Um, I've worked with Integrates, Way Forward, 
uh, 10 chambers, uh, loads and loads and loads of places. And, uh, and I do challenge runs. Um, I beat Sekiro with one finger and I can play three games at once. Two copies of Dark Souls at the same time, one hand on each pad and Final Fantasy VII with my feet on an arcade stick. Um, I'm weird like that. I can do, I can do stuff like that. But most of all, I just like to promote games. And right now we're playing this horror game and uh, I'm a big, big fan of the series. But it means I can't really talk much to chat, unfortunately, because there's just a lot of text. This is a fine stuffed bear. It's not uncommon for schools to have stuffed animals, but a stuffed bear, that's unusual. I'm drawn to it. Why are its eyes missing? I see something glowing in its mouth. Is that the second tooth? Put my hand into the mouth, though I can't fit it all the way inside. What in the world are you doing? Oh, I'm, there's something inside, but I, but I can't reach it since my hand doesn't fit. Well, then I won't be able to do it either. We need to find someone with a slimmer hand, so I'll just rip this head, bear head open. Don't do that. If you do something like that, you'll definitely call and want attention to us. Mashita and I aren't going to be able to get to the object. We need someone with slender hands. We need uh, the lady. Getting deja vu, yeah. Right, what's this mm. over here? Yeah, I was playing Dark Souls 1 with the uh, PlayStation Access controller the other day. One of my um, uh, viewers bought it for me. And they wanted to see me do some, some playthroughs with it. I'm hoping to get two of them in future, or a second one in future, so I can do um, Armored Core 6 on two, uh, two Access controllers, because that would be really cool. Yakuta's rummaging through the shelf until a bit ago. The door's wide open, the documents are all scattered. You know, there's nothing of interest. They're just all a mess. Okay, they're all just a mess. Hmm. There are several documents on the floor. This must be Kakuta's doing. I pick up one of the documents and look at the cover. There's a label with a caption written on it. Research of native plants that grow around Konohara Academy. Ooh, my voice. <clears throat> there are two dates written under the title. One from 11 years ago and one from 9 years ago. Did this research span two years? I find a I find a preface on the next page. The fox forest behind the school seems to have a special environment. A variety of plants native to the area can be seen here. As a science teacher at Konohara Academy, I set out to catalogue all of them. Following the preface page, there's a summary of the research done on various plants. There are photos of plants and moss complete with detailed research information. It's thorough, yet a surprisingly easy read. It's clear that the author is both a fine writer and an educator. What in the... The page between Fox Azalea and Foxtail Fern has been torn out. I skim through to the end, but I don't find anything about the red mushrooms. Just taking a crazy shot in the dark here, but let me guess. The mushroom info is on the torn page? Most likely. Kakuta must have done this. I bet it's why he snuck in here. Why did he do that, DG? He's trespassed into a locked school room and stole something. He'd probably be expelled if he got caught. Was some information on mushrooms really worth that much risk? I guess he thought it was. I can't even imagine what information would be that important though. If we can find that lost page, we may get a step closer to understanding Kakuta's motives. Should we report him to the school? No, not yet. We'd, ba we'd back Kakuta and Connor if we did. We can always decide to turn him in later once we've heard his side of the story. Okay, I need to come back with uh, with uh, the the lady and um, get the thing out of that bear's mouth. If I change to hero, I'm just gonna save my game real quick. Ah, Mr. DG, finally. Abe showed up earlier and left me a message. Seekers of wisdom, I shall await you in the garden of knowledge. What does that even mean? Don't ask me, I've got no clue either. Well, that's all. See you later. We'll figure that out on the next video.